Hey, what's going on, Print Fam? It's a good day, because it's Friday. Welcome back to the Print Life. I was going to, I don't like saying that. If was gonna's were dollar bills, I'd have a million of them. I was gonna, either way, I guess I gotta get into it. I was going to start uh, repairing this thing yesterday, but by the time we were done with everything, it was late and I was tired. So I'm picking it up today, partially, cause I'm gonna do a few of them before Jesse gets here. But once he gets here, it's pretty much like, uh, we're gonna have to wait. Anyway, let's get started rebuilding this press. All that I'm actually doing is pulling out these through bolts, applying some Loctite, and then throwing on some fresh uh, nuts. Well, maybe I never got this one. I learned this from the M&R guys. No ape shit on this red here, man. Now, I did some research and especially with red Loctite, it says it can dry in as quick as 10 minutes, but I'd like to at least let them sit for an hour before I put the nuts back on here and then put the kipping knobs on. What's up, man? We ready to go? Fuck no, he didn't get them done. No, seriously? You don't, dude, he, didn't got, he got stuck on that shit last night. We do, we are failing miserably in regards to delivery. All right, so we do, we got this shit delivered, and then check it out. We go to find out that we did not print three of the shirts for one of our clients. Dude, it is, when you got jobs everywhere, I just feel like it's, even with the software that I'm building, you cannot keep everything organized. I swear I got the wrong thread pattern. Check mark. One print head down, five to go. This one. Good. I didn't film it, but I just screwed this one back in. Okay, I'm gonna let that one dry. Set up this one. Four heads done, two to go, and this thing should be working like a charm. Jesse's here, cleaning screens, still behind. I am going to head to the courthouse so that I can get that paperwork dropped off and clear my situation, at least for the van, and then I'll deal with that uh, photo traffic ticket. They haven't even registered it in the system yet. Uh, and I will be reading your comments just in case anybody had any trips, tips, or tricks on how to get out of that thing. Shouldn't take too long. Well, after a bunch of running around like an idiot, turns out that that was a warning. I didn't need to go to the courts, but I went to a couple different courts just to make sure. But hey, I got peace of mind. The only other thing I got to deal with is that stoplight ticket. I had to have not even input it into their system yet. 
so it's gonna be a little while. Oh, you can see Jesse's doing. All right, man, how's it going? Where'd you go? Oh, hiding in the dark. <laughs> hiding in the dark. <laughs> Just come out of the. <laughs> it was like completely black. Thank you for calling Monument. This is Cam. How may I help you? So what'd you just finish? Block? Okay. Gee, do I always forget to say hi when I come in like a, like a goddamn tornado? I'm sorry. How you doing? You bored? What you doing with yourself, huh? Oh, is this your treat? Oh, is this your treat? Is it your favorite chewy bone? Huh? Is that your favorite chewy bone? Can I have some? You wanna share? You wanna share with me? Oh, good girl. Alright, we'll see you later. Alrighty, new daddy. Who's ready for a Friday Q&A? Because I didn't do a Monday Q&A. Who's ready, goddammit? Yo! Hey, yeah, 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 heck yeah. Thank you. Alright, that was the that was my UPS dude. Questions! Uh, I'm, I'm actually browsing through here and I, you know I'm, I'm, my most recent videos have been all about the motorcycle. And I, I see some comments in there about how um you know, maybe I should have gotten an automatic instead of this and that. And uh, to some to some extent I agree, but also I don't. The last five, six years of my life, I have put everything into the business. Specifically, more the software development than the actual screen printing business. The screen printing business has been on hold to the software development. I digress. Last, last year, or the beginning of this year, I started reading a book called Profit First. And Profit First really shifted gears in my brain from always investing exclusively in the business and never getting anything for myself to paying myself first. And Part of me paying myself first was getting myself a Harley. The beautiful thing about Profit First is that although it allows you to live and actually experience some of the benefits of working for yourself, it also sets aside profits that your business is making and puts them back into the business. So really, it makes it to where you, you can enjoy your life on a personal level and your business is also acquiring the resources it needs to grow. To answer your question, although I got myself a motorcycle, uh, I am also putting myself in a position where I can start growing the print shop when the time comes. One more caveat to that. I am not growing this print shop. I'm not buying any new equipment. I'm not bringing on any new employees except for maybe a helper until my shop management system is completely ironed out because I refuse to start growing and acquiring the day-to-day -day headaches of a larger shop with more customers without the perfect shop management tool. Obviously the shop management tool is going to be an ongoing thing and it will constantly get upgraded and will make it better and will add new features, but I'm not growing until the core functionality that I need is there. And I hope that the rest of you can also enjoy the functionality because I'm building it for everyone. And uh, me and Jen went and watched Venom last week. That was my pick this week. Jennifer wants to go see A Star Is Born, so that's what we're gonna go do. And I bring this up because it's Friday. Work week's almost over. Cool. Gonna go to the bank. I gotta make a cash deposit. Uh, did I mention that I took out, a, yeah, I got a loan last week for like five grand. Remember that? It was a personal loan. Well, I didn't end up using that, so I've gotta go back to the bank, deposit that cash in my personal account, and then pay the loan back so I don't have to pay any interest on it. But before I do that, I'm gonna run payroll, get this whole thing done, and then I'll be out of here. Thank you for calling Monument. My name's Cam. How um, may I help you? Jesse got, I, we're not caught up, but we're in a much better situation. So 
I, I wager by Monday we'll have everything caught up. Yeah, in the meantime, he's about out of here. I am going to start assembling this. It's a little weird, but it was on Amazon, it was cheap, and this is just an experiment. Don't know if it's gonna work. Might have been a total waste of money. I'm gonna try it and see. Yup. Come on, dude. Y'all done, bro? Okay. Yeah, you say bye to Jesse. You need money, don't you? I already clocked you out. Oh, yeah. Go, dude. Okay, so we are going to work Monday. And I think after Monday, we'll be good. Jeez, you got to fix something. We'll go walk first, okay? Hey, anyways. Jesse's done. I'm done. So we're going to call it a day at 6, 11 p.m. Later, Jesse. That's it for me. That's it for you guys. Thanks so much for hanging with me. Take care of yourselves, Print Fam. It's out. Peace out.